This is day three. I'm proud of you that you survived yeah, all this time. It's almost like 100 wiki days, no wait. Uh, it's almost like a 100 uh, hours of uh, wiki fun. <coughs> this is the first year. Uh, so, uh, this should be the, uh, the section about the future of C. But before we start talking about the future, I would like to talk about this meeting. Because we are ending something. Uh, we are ending our annual uh, festival where we meet together and we enjoy our activities, what we do the whole year, where we can talk and share experience, share love and fun with each other, uh, learn each other, get inspired, um, see something and bring something home. So, uh, my, I would like to ask you some questions because uh, you we're digesting the beautiful city of Warsaw and the beautiful presentations of everyone here. Um, so, what did you find most interesting on this conference? Like, what's a presentation or talk, lightning talk or workshop? What inspired you to bring something new to the Wikimedia? And to make you more active, I have a box. I have a box of sweets, so every responding person is allowed to take one piece and pass it further, so uh, we have a special motivation. <laughs> so, who is Scott? You're already showing you've learned something about volunteer motivation. <laughs> yes, true. So I can like this stuff. Oh, my God. Don't worry, I'm also happy. Oh, oh, okay. First, yeah. <laughs> Let's make this roll for the answer. Uh, an announcement. When you speak, because we don't have sound system in this room, uh, please make sure to speak so I can hear you write it down, because otherwise this guy is going to kill me for not uh, documenting this on super bad. Please speak up. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, for me, the really super interesting thing was uh, this uh, project about uh, wiki uh, clubs. <coughs> uh, uh, when uh, the chapter is inviting uh, scientists to, to, to go for a, a weekly retreat, and then during this week they quite effectively turned them into, into Wikipedians to the level that even some of those who was attending the retreats, the, 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 the retreats they are now members of, of the report. So it was really <coughs> something which impressed me and we were just already talking that we might think to copy this idea at all. Oh. Is it a commitment, Tomasz? Well, together with Krzysiek, bo Krzysiek is in our chapter responsible for such kind of uh, uh, training, so we're already talking to, to, to try this. Thank you very much. Can this also go to people who make the team? How much? Please, you can keep it. You're going to have to do another another bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, another great person. <laughs>
How do you want to use it? Okay, so clearly, we need to dedicate some funds for them. Yeah. Side for them, side for them. Uh, any more? Interesting. What is why do you? I really like uh, that there were so many interesting discussions about strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like that, and, and there were many people actually who got involved. And, and I had a chance to have uh, so many interesting uh, dialogues, uh, travels, even, even many more people in the room uh, to, to, this, uh, to have a good discussion on my favorite topic. So it's a really excellent. Also, I like the presence of maybe somewhat external people to the CE uh, uh, movement or, or uh, our, our collaborative, but who are really important in the strategy process, leading it, being present, answering to questions, listening to what people are saying. So this is what I really, really like, and, uh, and this is what I would like to, to see also in the future, that, uh, that we can go out there on the field and collect uh, info from uh, data, ideas from communities in, in that way. I know this way. Carol, do you remember the tongue twister from the other day? Would you? Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Uh, uh, Stol uvada. Stol spolova mevana mi nogami. Oh, please share, please share at least one thing that you learned about that to be the inside from the strategy discussion. One thing. Know, at least one. Yeah. Something important. I think the most important thing for me is that the C people and the small communities are more interested in, st in strategy than, it, uh, than we can see from the discussion page and, uh, and uh, meta page or whatever we have on, on online. So when you go there in person to ask, ask direct personal question, you can see actually the spark like in, uh, in the eye and, and the people getting going and, and start starting to talk about it. <coughs> But they generally say, oh, no, I have no interest in it. But, but, but there's this and thing. Then, and then it goes and goes and goes and it's, it's uh, something we, we have to keep in mind. I think this is a key takeaway. Okay. So it's good to approach people even when they say that they are not interested. They are interested. And there will be reports. Yeah. Writing. <laughs> awesome. Someone more. Oh, yes, yeah, here. Oh, yeah.
we could have done our power and solid secret spies, and then we could have spiders because we have loaders who have lived like thousands of problems. And there are people who have loaded one picture or two pictures, and there are people who come with 7,000. And Pavel wrote the Petitan, which is the software to massive massive the Wikimedia Commons. Someone more. This side, please. Kubov, yes. Uh, first of all, uh, in contrary to the previous meeting, I think personally this wasn't uh, so much important. I already know I tried to go all the people. Uh, but I'm working with the building. And uh, supervised Greta, I uh, highly appreciate the work of Asa. Is it here? Yes. Yes. A lot of facilitation. <laughs> oh, the little the slap. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it, we saw it. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> okay, uh, I just saw, saw some uh, blind spots of uh, my mind and uh, this blind spot of human psyche in general. And consider that uh, when human works, just doesn't receive the source code of this cycle cycle of the society and it's a workshop so very well. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Please. You are the first one. Uh, I was most so I, I did a lot of speaking in this conference, so I didn't get to see much beyond the my audience, but I did go to see uh, Lars Harmsen's talk. Is he here still? No, no, he's no. Uh, and he inspired me in a way that uh, reminds me of the early days when I was young and pretty, well, young and great. Uh, because he was talking about a, a technique that he developed to generate excellent example sentences for words on dictionary. And the technique uses Wikisource and the input box feature. And it's an entirely original idea. Uh, and it reminded me how much innovation there is in our movement. Uh, you don't always have to develop new features. You don't always have to invest money. Uh, here's one Wikipedian who came up with a brilliant way to do a little bit of wiki work um, and was sharing it uh, passionately. And I just uh, was greatly, greatly inspired by it. Uh, so much so that if you missed Lars's talk, I'm happy to give you like a 10 minute version uh, during the break or afterwards or something. What? He, is, uh, he is gone, but I, I will uh, forward your message. Thank you. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I don't think I'm going to uh, add anything new here. I, I also very much enjoy uh, some uh, facilitation workshop. I found it a great way to learn new skills and uh, polish existing skills. Uh, I definitely learned a lot myself. And I, I really want to stress that I felt that the way it was conducted uh, made me feel safe enough to, to share my mistakes publicly and to think about how to improve on them. And I also want to basically voice the same thing as Kubov did. Uh, I really enjoyed the, the presentation that Lars held. Uh, I found it uh, fascinating, the, the, the different ways that people achieve results and uh, contribute to the movement. Uh, quite impressive. Thank you. Please. Two. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> always marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Well, it was my first CEE conference and I was really, really impressed by how diverse those communities are. On the other hand, how much they work together. For me, the presentation in the, of the Ethno Wiki on the first day was, of course, that's why it was the um, presentation on the first day, it was a wonderful example. But I saw many small parts of that in other presentations as well. And I was also very impressed how many of uh, the groups are working in different parts of education. I've heard about students, I've heard about the wiki camps, I've heard about working with senior citizens. 
And, and that was really to me a big thing to see how these often small communities, small chapters, have brilliant ideas and come up with wonderful ways to interact with communities that don't, haven't discovered Wikipedia yet and to snare them into this wonderful movement.
but uh, the presentators and the sequence of presentations was so interesting that I was really captivated and uh, I, I thought it was uh, very, it, it became more relevant to me, so I want to thank the, both the, the presenters and the, the program organizers for creating a program that was really interesting, even though it might not have looked very interesting uh, for me at the beginning, but it was made in such a way that, yes, it was really very interesting. So, thank you for that, and thank you for the brief to the presenters also. Thank you. On behalf of the program committee, I'd like to especially thank Magalia, who was uh, our cornerstone of the committee and kept us working and uh, meeting and summarizing and deadlines. Uh, are responsible for the rest of the community and doing their job. Thank you, Magali. Yeah, she might be running. Yeah. She might be running. I will repeat this in person. <laughs> and so I would like to thank you last night as well, who gave all this table work in the event and, and it was really hard work. Magali, you have been thanked. Any more inspirations, thoughts, bad thoughts? I don't know, feels for improvements that you thought? Something that you would like to have on more on the next C meeting? Something that should be skipped on the next C meeting? 27 hours with the cell phone. 27 hours with the cell Oh, yes. Yeah, we need to schedule it. One thing that I had from several people over here is that we do a lot of nice things and many people are surprised, still surprised. We have a C meeting for I don't know which time, fifth time, sixth time, and people still are surprised with the things that we do in the region. So is there anything that we could do to communicate and to show it in a better way? Yes. But we, we don't you asked the question in the first place as related to meeting. So, yes, we, we want to have people presenting this in power as well, this is good if they talk about things, but we can have a better models of continuous communication within the CE group. So there is a possibility to do, to do online show and tells if you want to, if you want to have this personal contact, if you want to show your slides, you want to uh, have the talking heads. So, so this is one, of, one way we can, we can continue. We actually have this wonderful calendar. So we could actually start filling it more consist consistently once again. So there are many ways how to actually keep up and, and to continuous communication. And then uh, we should be a bit more bold to ask questions and reach out to each other and, and, and actually learn from each other continuously. So this is not only about meeting, but, uh, but, but there are ways. So maybe we can... Uh, we can continue this discussion in, in some way and set up uh, more ways of continuous communication because Facebook could be nice, but but uh, list is okay. Uh, RSC is not working too well, but uh, maybe maybe there are really other ways so we can keep up and actually uh, maybe go even deeper on the conferences. So not only just these uh, superficial overviews of, of 10 to 15 minutes about projects, but actually have a more thorough discussions about things and which have a longer term impact. I think we as a regional collaborative, working collaborative are ready for this, this move. Okay. Is this a commitment? Are you going to... Of course, of course, yes. No, no, just, yeah, you, you skip the... I'm, I'm on maternity leave and I love to be the community volunteer. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Carl, because you've forwarded this 15, 20, 15, 20 minutes to me and uh, we start lending in the... The future of CE, yeah, well, this is the first thing I've got here. Improvement of the communication. I would have to know something about it. Some more. Something that we could address better, we could improve. All the things that we could do together, like we could do together the better communication in the region. Are there any other things that we could do together after this conference? Tobias. Well, uh, just when we're talking about statistics, 
I was a little too late last year uh, because uh, the CD Spring Contest always had this amazing collection of articles that uh, everybody would love to translate all of them, but then we run out of time. But I would like to suggest that we maybe add uh, like 10 uh, essential uh, technologies that we all need uh, to work together and uh, to work more efficiently with, that we could add like 10 uh, technical articles to that list, which we could all, to, all choose together, which we think you know, like our favorite tool. I mean, that would be like, for example, like my hobby for Sparkle has a real Wikipedia article because it's like a notable technology, but it could also just be a page of documentation that you really like and that you think everybody else could profit from. And there's a lot of documentation hidden that nobody is really aware of. So I would love just maybe in very short bits, just 10 essential CE technologies that we all share and love adding to the list. And I think that also attracts a very specific subset of people that would otherwise not be really interested in any uh, topographic or historical subject. Okay. And could it be a Wikipedia article, or maybe wiki books, or maybe meta pages? You could add a meta page that you think is really important because we talked about the cost and trouble of translation. It could be uh, like my favorite infobox tutorial or something, or just uh, this, <coughs> this is how I uh, record a video, or this is how I take a picture at night, and this work has worked really well for me, and I think I, I haven't seen like pictures of that like from another CD region, so I would like to share this very essential skill with them, or like a certain architectural detail that other people might not be aware of. And that's just to the very short, like 10 to 15 things. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I see, at least right now, how about you, that I see myself using such a tutorial, like there's a meta page with the Sparkle carries. Mm -hmm. You have seen it, but the, the, there are the examples of Sparkle queries, so if you need to do something, you can just search for some query and then to work on it, like improve it or expand it. Mm -hmm. And I found it very, very useful. It was yeah. the best tutorial for Sparkle that I found in Meta. Yes, yeah, so it's something like that. For me, it would be very useful. Yeah, like a CE like a space question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can also find that bridges of translations where we don't have like a direct link. Some of more. Oh, there's a piece. There's just one. Why am I already oversugared? There's no such a thing. So that's why you're here. 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 That's here. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I had one, uh, one idea which was uh, first as a submission, but then it was left for just for this discussion. We would like to have a um, C newsletter which can accommodate uh, both um, this idea uh, to have a shared space where we can, like, every <coughs> month we can share good examples, obscure, uh, sparkle queries uh, that can help us. Uh, or, uh, for instance, the idea from uh, yesterday to have um, a place where we can share more about how we deal with gender uh, gap. Yeah. Uh, or um, everything that happens in the region, which just once a year is too rare for us to, to share, so that we need to, to do it in a way that it's first more regular and then um, mm -hmm. it leaves, like, it, it remains black and white, similar to the matter or outreach, or whatever. Okay. Maybe, maybe just feel the temperature. <laughs> yeah. How many are the yeses for, for, for this idea, or some like How many people would like to contribute to such a thing? And how many people would say, no. Okay, three, four, maybe I'm not seeing it well. Okay, just for people. So, do, do, does, mean, does this mean that the rest of you are just passive uh, supporters or definitely against? So, who is who would be definitely against having such a newsletter? It's 
speak to me if you're definitely against her. So, so now maybe maybe the rest of people are like the readers of this. I think we need more time for the children. Because I don't know if you are not Yeah, you want to say something? Yeah. <laughs> it seems like the Because you were already, Bosch is yeah. writing the other letter. And could I have someone uh, to put down on the meta page? Or, uh, is it the Etherpad going on? It goes, it goes. It's from yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, because that's, that's why I have to set up the meta, meta page so that people could actually subscribe. I mean, they could say that I will, I will work on the idea A. I will work. So as you as you can know, we how we this uh, setting up the letter page for all these ideas we are hearing, and you can see that there will be like for sessions on uh, conferences, people can actually sign up to work together, so it will be easier, easier for me or Marcia or, or uh, Tobias to co co contact these people and actually start working together. Thank you, Mikko. Yeah, it's not only C, but it's very C. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Any other, other ideas for future? Or maybe there's something that we should stop doing, or we are doing in a completely wrong way, and we should uh, like avoid it? I don't know. I just like the idea of uh, learning and working on all the projects before the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's Kyle and Vice Do you want to say something? Well, uh, actually, I was just thinking about the uh, reshaping this uh, conference. I mean, <coughs> but I must think a little bit about it and maybe I write something. <coughs> it, it, uh, about the set of people we invite and why, why this set, no, 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 other people, maybe we should make this conference more open, but then there is the subject more open towards people who are coming here. <coughs> because there were several people here who thought that we shouldn't be. I mean, they know. Uh, according to the grant of uh, the idea that they, they shouldn't be here, but they were, and they added quite a lot of good, good things here. So maybe we should think for the future to, 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 to change it, because actually at the moment we, <coughs> the idea of this conference is having something like small learning uh, uh, conference, so they are mainly functionaries of the, of the chapters and user groups to, to, to be here, plus some invited people, and maybe it would be a better idea to make it much more open. So this is my commitment. And the second, second, no, my idea and the second idea is that uh, for us it was really difficult <coughs> to prepare the grant proposal <coughs> but, uh, and how many people can come and, and why. Because it was really tricky, for example, uh, in grant pro proposals, the, uh, Wikimedia Germany were completely not taken into consideration because of uh, uh, because in general the Wikimedia Deutschland does not uh, officially announce that they are seen, right? So they are not on the list, they were not on the list in Armenia, not in Syria, uh, and so on. But uh, I think they are very see and we must change it. <laughs> and then there is also a question about other countries. So then uh, making this list is really very difficult to prepare that. We just inherited this list from Wikimedia Armenia and have changes and it did give us a number of people uh, of, of, of scholarships which are paid by grants. <coughs> And then maybe it should be a better idea that uh, for sure we should have a diverse group of scholars, but maybe some other way to select scholars. <coughs> 
So not necessarily just two people from each group, uh, but, but maybe we should talk of some, some other, other ideas how to do this to have a diverse group of people. For sure at least one person from each, each, each group, but not necessarily uh, only two, for example, when there are some ideas to, to bring some more people, and also that maybe people who are not directly connected with any user groups or chapter, but they, are, they still have very interesting input and then we should think maybe to, I don't know, create some sort of the scholarship committee uh, attached to, to the program committee, something something like this. So this is one of the ideas that we could reshape the, the, the conference and maybe make it more uh, useful for everyone. Okay. Thank you. And uh, this, my, th my initial thoughts about this that should we, should it be centered on the topics of the conference? Should we like... Yes, this is, this is an open question, yes, I can do this, but I just started to think in doing the, the, the inviting people here and so on, so then, but it should be sorted out before that uh, new uh, organizers will uh, start to do uh, next uh, grant proposal because if they just follow our examples with this list of scholars, so they again, they will take this list of user groups and uh, uh, chapters from the region and uh, will be again repeated. <coughs> I'm asking this question because uh, I'm a detractor of what's <laughs> However, um, during the first strate strategy session with Carl, I had this thought that I think maybe we shared it, that uh, um, we could have something like a central question, central issue of every conference or every meeting, and it would be the, 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 the issue that we would be committed like to work on in the, in the year, like in the 12 months. So it would be something, at least one thing that we are dedicated to work together collaboratively and to improve. Like to deliver something, to actually deliver. And I don't know if it makes sense or not, it is just a crazy idea, but maybe having such, a, such things that we want to deliver, so we meet, and this is just a part of the process, that we started online and we end online, and we are just working on something, uh, that we have to have something tangible in the end. At least one thing, one thing. I know. We can have a lunch discussion about that. Yes. Because you don't have any uh, yeah. speaking of the next organizers. Yes. I <coughs> um, oh, yeah. because uh, oh. Philip, Philip and uh, Cornelius are not present at the moment in this room, they delegate the discussion to me because the both that maybe someone will bring this up. <laughs> uh, so uh, the thing about the next meeting is that we now have two people from <coughs> Serbia and uh, from uh, Ukraine. Uh, there are some details we need to discuss with the committee because everything was set up in April, May. Now we have to update on, on this and, and uh, discuss some details. Uh, if they have everything in place, the CE community will be informed about the next steps and really hope that uh, the, the process can carry through uh, in the upcoming month, uh, so probably end of October. Now, not destiny for the deadline. Uh, but uh, the, the, uh, the, the committee that we have currently. Yeah, Cornelius, you can take over. <laughs> we are just discussing, discussing the CE meeting 2018. So, yeah. So, continue from there, I stop. <laughs>
scholars have that we distill our ideas at home. This region. Um, Yeah, post, uh, so uh, do we, do we uh, know roughly how many people watched? 
And, well, what, what, when it was online, it was one to three people. One to three people. It was, yeah. yeah okay. One to three so this is, the, this is data now. Now we have data. One to three people watched the sessions that were Facebook Live. Now, of course. Maybe it wasn't a huge effort to make it on Facebook Live, so no, no huge waste. Yeah. But it also suggests we shouldn't go to any huge efforts in the future for this kind of thing. That, that is at least what this data suggests. And Our to classify any concerns, we did beforehand announce that there will be a live stream from one of the tracks, and we did invite people to post comments. And uh, I was uh, sitting most of the time with Ethan Pad on the, on the live stream the track, was told by the rest of the organizing team to watch out for possible comments and to submit them in the Q&A section. So, it was announced, it was known, it was just not used by the outside community, sorry, not the outside community, but the people who couldn't be here with us. The means were given to To, to the concern about the rising standard, I, I would really strongly encourage people to focus on the substance. The substance is that the Wi-Fi works, that yes. people have a place to sleep and are fed, and that there's a good, solid program. That's it. What's in the goodie bag is not. Whether there is a goodie bag doesn't matter. Uh, whether the, I don't know, the hotel is quite as nice as the other hotel doesn't matter. People need Wi-Fi and food and a good program. And that every community that can host can do. So I, I really encourage all of us not to be distracted by something particularly shiny that Wikimedia Polska may have done, though it's great and wonderful and we love it, that's just the shiny stuff around it. It's not the substance. The substance is Wikimedians together in the same room, breaking bread <coughs> and having talks, and not just in the sessions, but also outside the sessions, as we know. Some of the best work happens between and after sessions. That's what we need for a successful CE meeting. And that is something I'm confident every one of the communities that have considered hosting, certainly the two that have uh, bids going on, is absolutely capable of providing. Mm, if I can add to what Asaf said, we, you know, Wikimedia Polska runs a number of conferences and workshops, and sometimes we make this a very conscious decision to make it a uh, low profile. I mean, there is a number of people, and there is food, there is Wi-Fi, there is a very strong program and everything, but uh, we, <coughs> we don't invest into extras, even though we could, but because we don't want to have people to overly distracted. Like, we have a one annual workshop conference nowadays in winter, which is more hands-on, it's a retreat somewhere in the middle of woods, we just find the place with the Wi-Fi, the, 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 the team, the Tomasz uh, and the office, they find the place. Where um, no one will hear you yeah, no one, yeah, when no, no, and well, you, when, when you leave to the woods and no one will find you. And, uh, and that's it. And there is food. It's, it's a nice place, decent place, but you know, not, no bells and whistles. And, and actually the community seems to really enjoy this kind of experience most. So this is just a lesson learned. But with the Facebook Live, actually, I hope that we will have some more people that probably only in the second or the third year we will start have people watching it because the people are so not prepared in the Wikimedia world to have the live stream. Because there were so many Wikimanias and Wikimedia conferences and everything that there was no such a thing as the live stream. So I think that nobody really expects us to have one. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. Thank you. 
see the hotel before we arrived there, but that's a house, a lot of other things can be done online. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, actually here we have some people who started utilizing uh, the help, the assistance of the other chapters and other people in a more active way. And they are using it to teach the people from other countries how to organize the others, like uh, Wikimedia Development. And uh, thank you very much for this talk. And uh, Nicole, this is Cornelius, uh, the Spanish Network. I don't have any comments on uh, how it goes so far for Wikimedia Development, like in uh, your uh, conference, uh, ship project. The community devotion of the Irish so far. You know, we have some people invited to the community. Yes. Let me actually. Um, I don't know how to say it. Um, yeah, we were I'm glad that we could experiment with this format and we are going to continue this. And probably you all see that. We have just published a call for the next visiting this medium because we think this, this program is like ideal to share experiences and share perspectives and exchange also perspectives. So we are bringing one person in from another affiliate or another chapter to work with us on the media conference to learn with us um, about all things related to organizing a conference and terms of logistics and terms of program. And it's not only that the person that joins us learns from us, but that this person also brings another perspective into our um, program uh, project project group um, for the media conference. And I can like, only recommend uh, to, to also probably copy the, this program um, to other conferences because I think the the, the conferences in our movement, even if there is an exchange among the participants and so on, are still too much isolated from each other. So there is no, well, in my perspective, not enough exchange between the different program teams, between, for example, the media conference, with mania, the regional conferences. I think there should be even more um, yeah, collaboration and exchange. And what we, for example, are trying with the Polinian system, Maybe we can uh, answer this later on. Um, to carry on, the, carry the torch of different parts of our program through different conferences. And I would actually hope for even, even more exchange among those conferences. That we can make sure that the stuff that we discuss, for example, in Berlin, the stuff that you are discussing here, the stuff that we are discussing at the other regional conferences, are not like um, single episodes or something like that, but really a series of conversations and but then we see progress. So what has been discussed in Berlin, what are the results of that and where are we now two months <coughs> now or half a year after the Berlin conference for example with these topics and what do we need to happen next um, in terms of some of these um, problematic issues and where do we see progress and what would have need to happen as I said at the next so I would wish for more exchange even among uh, between the program teams. Was it the correct answer? So I can <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think so. Are still having one? Um, no, I don't, I, don't plan, I don't plan any huge The so schedule calls for a closing session for another hour, no, starting in 10 minutes. So it looks like we have a free hour. Yes, we have. And that uh, gives me all kinds of uh, ideas, like we could use it for something concrete and useful. Please like do. Teaching.
teaching someone something, or I don't know. So, it, are there thoughts on what we want to? I mean, we could also just go and get fresh air for an hour. Yes. But I'm happy to provide training during that one hour here in this room if anyone wants. Uh, Wikidata queries for beginners, or pet scan, or I don't know. And other people are also welcome to suggest things to do with this hour. <laughs> I, I would like to suggest to maybe have a meeting for continuous communication or the CEP, one of these two. So maybe this is something I could, I could work on. Yeah. You promised. The only thing is you wanted to have the feedback also on, yes. on organizing the conference. Yes. So one thing is that uh, we have to ensure that on conference venue and uh, in all of the venues, we actually have the corners where the first people can arrange continuous meetings. Because, for example, in this room, you have a really bad echoing issue. And if you have one session going on in one corner, in the other one, so, so these are the typical things, the small, small details. This we need in see, we have to have small working sessions uh, between, after, and even during. Do, do we still have the other room? Um, Tamash, the second floor. So we still have it for another hour? Well, but you have to hire this room and someone to pay for it. So we don't have it. <coughs> uh, I was no, asking whether... Now it's available. No, now it's available. Until three. Until three. Yeah, so, so we, we have it for another yeah. hour. Yeah. But Tomas is thinking that maybe we want to have some late night section. No, no, no. I'm talking about this, this <laughs> coming hour. This coming hour. I'm talking about that. Yeah. No, no, no. So we have two rooms. We have the one above and we have one here and in the other corner. Yeah. What I would be, personally, uh, I would love to have something tangible that we have, a, maybe not even the particular commitments, but we have something overarching, some kind of a motif that we would work together um, to work, to find something, some new collaboration, some new C spring, some new tech collab, something that would come on great from the region. And I think that, well, you're the people to come up with it, but... So many resourceful people, really. I'm, I'm taking a look at so many great people that. And personally, at least, uh, I will step step up. I would like to thank everyone to dedicate their time to come here, to bring something, to prepare themselves, uh, to bring some joy, experience, uh, thoughts, uh, to share with the people and share with us. And every time I'm very inspired after these conferences, I have a lot of energy to work. Uh, I think my tension, my wiki stress is lowered at a much, much degree. Personally, yeah, then I have uh, energy. This is where I get my energy to work on the uh, finance paperwork and <laughs> finance, you know, grants ideas and, uh, in some you know, uh, airless, uh, airless conference room. Uh, so thank you very much for it. And uh, Tomasz, I don't know, do you want to step up? And I don't know, maybe Org Team. Thank you, Wikimedia Polska. Yeah, Org Team. I would like to... Two things. It was my silly idea to do this time capsule, and now it's very uh, last time when you can put it here. And the idea is that I will close this and stamp it officially that it's closed and will be open in two years. So this is the very last time when you can put it. I actually what I did myself. I just used my name uh, uh, card, which I don't need any longer, and put it there with some of my thoughts. It won't be read by anyone until 2030. Right? So if you have any ideas, so this is very last time. And then, uh, when we are going out and won't come back probably together, everyone, so I would really like to ask uh, all our uh, organizing committee. Ania, możesz pójść po wszystkich, żeby tu przyszli? <coughs> Unfortunately, they are constantly busy, so it's not too busy. <laughs> but I would like really to, to thank everyone for all the hard work they did. Uh, so. Should be Alec here, but yes, I don't know who is. Doing yeah, he's still still organizing. This is the problem. <laughs>
this is certainly not one of those, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Like, it was, it was so exhausting. We should have hate the whole work and it was so amazing to see you being here be like bringing all the wikimedia magic and making things happen and it's it's such an honor to make you time to to, to, to have you here and I, I don't know what to say just but, uh, thank you for coming <laughs> Yes. Hey. Hey. Hey.